a steadfast Technion friend, leader in the American Technion Society, and member of Technion's International Board of Governors, Carol Epstein is carrying on the family tradition. Both of her parents were granted Technion honorary doctorate degrees, bringing the family's commitment and devotion full circle today. Carol received her bachelor's degree from Cornell University and earned her law degree at George Washington University. She worked for the U.S. State Department until her retirement. During the 90s, she became active in the American Technion Society. She transformed the once small ATS chapter in Washington, D.C. into a regional body and helped to raise significant funds. As a Technion guardian, Carol has reached the highest level of support for the Institute. She has generously donated to the Graduate Student Village and a kindergarten there, the Faculty of Biotechnology and Food Engineering, and the Jacobs Institute. Carol actively supported the Cornell Technion Partnership in New York and the Jacobs Technion Cornell Institute. In 2012, the ATS bestowed upon her their highest honor, the Einstein Award. In thanking Carol for her dedication, Senior VP Professor Adam Schwartz, former director of the Jacobs Institute, said, How often can you say that you had a hand in creating a new institution not a project or a program, but an entire institution. You had the confidence in this hybrid educational and commercial venture to embrace our vision early on, and your enthusiastic support helped to usher in Technion's arrival in New York. What brought my parents to support the Technion? They took their first trip to Israel in 1959. So when they arrived at Haifa, my father hailed a cab and he said, would you take us and show us what's in this city that's good to see? The cabbie said, what do you do for a living? My father said, I'm an electrical engineer. The cabbie said, well, then I guess I better take you to the Technion. So he took them around and dropped them off at the Technion. They walked in, they sat in a classroom. My father did not speak a word of Hebrew, but he could see what was being written on the blackboard, numbers is numbers, that he could understand. And he was blown away at the level of instruction going on in this school that was essentially then at the edge of the desert. And they walked out and he said, I believe if any single entity is going to be responsible for the success of the state of Israel, it's Technion. And they proceeded to devote their lives, their spare time and spare money to the Technion, and that's what I grew up with. The Technion Cornell partnership and the new campus on Roosevelt Island in New York, this is a collaboration that was made in heaven. The campus on Roosevelt Island shimmers. You have to go there to see it. Pictures don't do it justice. And what's going on at Cornell Tech, and particularly at Jacobs Technion Cornell Institute, is they have established a whole new way of graduate education for technicals. They are producing active, entrepreneurial, technical professionals. Receiving an honorary doctorate from the Technion, it's a great honor. Both of my parents had honorary doctorates separately, not as a couple. And although I have a couple of awards that they never got, this is the only one I think that they got that I had yet to receive, and I am about to receive one, and I think it is really special. <music>